Welcome to this NCAA edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup with the men's soccer team and head coach Jim McElderly. Jim, a couple days have passed, a couple days of practice, tomorrow's game time. How is the team going into tomorrow night's first round matchup? We're just excited to be playing another day, uh, having a game here at Coffee Field and allowing uh, the, the student body and family and friends to be here to watch us play in an NCAA tournament game. So uh, we're just really happy to, to continue playing. Um, I enjoy being around this group. Uh, we have a fantastic team, but also the senior class. I'm, I'm just so happy for them to c continue their season on and uh, just looking forward to the match, really. How much does it help that a lot of this team has already experienced this before, either last year at Boston College or having two, two NCAA tournament trips in the senior class? How much does that help some of those younger players like a boom, like Andron, uh, you know, get ready for tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's a big help. I think uh, our older guys uh, have been through this a bunch of times, and there is some uh, things you have to get used to, you know, getting ready for this, this tournament game. Uh, lucky this year we don't have the travel and class time to deal with as much, so uh, I think they do help the younger guys and, and you know, kind of give them more expectations of, of what will be happening. And, and there's always little changes on your game day routine when you're dealing with an NCAA tournament game. So just those little bits of uh, changes are, are helpful that we've got a older guys to help them walk, walk them through all these situations. You're taking on St. Francis Brooklyn, 14-4-1. They're one of the hottest teams coming into the tournament, having won seven in a row and nine out of their last ten. I believe it's five shutouts out of their last six, something like that. What, do you, what have you seen from them, or, or what have you heard about them and, and for tomorrow night's game? Just overall, good team. Uh, they got good attacking players. They don't concede many goals. They've got an older group uh, similar to us. They've been to the NCAA tournament prior to this. So uh, I think we're, we're quite similar in a lot of ways. So uh, I just know that uh, they're going to be in, in a similar mentality to us, not just happy to be here, but trying to win the game. So uh, I think them not having to travel far is, is a big advantage for them, which I'm sure they're happy about. So. Um, I think it's a great occasion for, for New York City soccer, and uh, I think we've both got uh, players on our team that uh, we want people to know about and realize that they are top Division One college soccer players. So uh, we expect them to be an excellent team, as their record shows. So it's going to be a, a touch and go for both teams, I think. All right, well, best of luck tomorrow night, 7 o'clock here at Coffee Field. Thanks for having me. Here with our player interview with junior forward Janos Luba. Janos. You're back in the NCAA tournament, second straight year for yourself. What did you take away from that first experience last year at Boston College that you, you maybe do something a little bit different going into tomorrow night's game? I mean, first of all, we were last year we were very excited. It's an ACC school, big school, and a good team. We were all very excited to play that game. And um, I mean, I personally think we are uh, better. We have more experienced guys this year, older guys, uh, older group in general. So. Um, we are all super excited. We earned this throughout the season. Um, and yeah, I'm just like super happy. And I think we all are super happy that we uh, could, do it, could do it again. And uh, we're looking forward to it. How special is it to have this game here at home uh, for you guys? Obviously, you don't have to travel. But is it a special thing to play here at home? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, we've been in the row like the past weeks for by a lot. But, um, it's, it's super nice to have your people around. I mean, especially it's like a New York local game kind of, but um, to, to have your people around, to have students come in, parents come in, and hopefully a bigger crowd than usual. And that should be an advantage for us. And yeah, it's, it's nice not to travel this time. So you have a little bit more of a rest. So uh, yeah, that's definitely an advantage for us. For uh, the experience of, of the team, again, you have a senior class that's, this is their third trip to NCAAs, uh, junior class, this would be their second. What are you telling Jacob Boom and Andron, and some of the younger players that'll see action uh, tomorrow night, you know, as to what to expect? Because there is a little bit different atmosphere when you get to an NCAA game. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, I think uh, Jacob, for example, he's like an older freshman. But um, on the other hand, um, they know it could be our last game this season. And after that, we have like uh, six to nine months for no soccer or no competitive games. And uh, they know that. And uh, we want to extend our season as long as we can. And um, they are pretty aware of that. So I think they give everything they can tomorrow. All right. Well, best of luck tomorrow night, Janos. And uh, good luck to the whole team. Thank you.
That'll do it for this week's edition of the Fordham Ram Roundup NCAA edition. Fordham men's soccer, first round NCAA game on Thursday night, November the 16th, 7 o'clock, right here at Jack Coffee Field. For students on campus, it's free admission with free pizza and hot chocolate, and the fan zone will be open uh, throughout the entire game. So come out and support the men's soccer team as they look for their first NCAA title and first NCAA victory here at Jack Coffee Field. If you're unable to make the game, game will be streamed, FordhamSports.com, as well as live stats. You can find all those links, again, on the website, FordhamSports.com, or as always on Twitter, at Fordham Soccer, to follow the team. For the Fordham Ram Roundup, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski, and we'll see you next time.